Thank you for being with us. Uh, you know, the BOJ, tell me how, how much pressure it's under right now. How uncomfortable is its position becoming with respect to uh, its uh, yield curve control policy? Well, people are worried about uh, further depreciation of the yen because of the yield curve control. And there is a long criticism against that. So that's the source of the uncertainty, uh, uncomfortableness for the BOJ. But at the same time, BOJ is likely to stick to its, uh, its own philosophy about the economy and the assessment of the price, uh, price dynamics. Uh, because the uh, Japan's inflation is just slightly above 2%, but it's all coming from oil prices and other commodity prices. And there's no strong demand support, sustainable inflation rate going forward. So as a matter of fact, probably BOJ will raise uh, a forecast of inflation for 2022 from 1.9 to somewhat above 2%. But still, it will stick to the 1% uh, inflation forecast for 2023 and 2024. So in this situation, there's no reason for the BOJ to make any move about a, a, a monetary policy. Okay, in this situation, but do you think the pressure is rising? Do you think there's an increasing discomfort there? Uh, and do you think there may, that in itself may begin to precipitate some sort of comments on the structural positions and, and what, they're, what, they're, what they might do in the future? Well, first of all, uh, becoming uncomfortable with the situation is not really enough for the central bank to change its policy. And secondly, uh, Governor Kuroda had already reiterated that the excessive and speculative move of the exchange rate is not desirable. Probably, I think the Mr. Kuroda and some other officials of the BOJ will reiterate that position to uh, deny uh, any, uh, you know, uh, uh, excess movement of the exchange rate. Uh, but at the same time, it doesn't guarantee that automatic response from the BOJ on the policy front. Because there is clear uh, division of labor between the Minister of Finance and the BOJ, the BOJ is actually responsible for, exclusively responsible for a domestic price stability, where they ask, uh, it is the Minister of Finance which is responsible for exchange rate market movement.